Hello and welcome to Redacted, where this week we're covering SCP-019, Object Class, Catter. Special Containment Procedure. SCP-019 is to be kept in a wide grate in a on a wide grate in a 3 meter by 3 meter by 4 meter reinforced concrete room installed with an incinerator. Room is to be kept at 0 degrees Celsius when the incinerator is not active. An observation chamber is separated by a plate glass window. By a plate glass window is to be used for constant observation. 019. And if and when the, sub the specimens of 019-2 are observed, the incinerator is to be activated. In the event of an outbreak of SCP-019-2, ordinary firearms are successful in terminating individual specimens. Although in a case of swarm level out, flamethrowers may be more effective. SCP-019 should be kept in a vertical position at all times. Description. SCP-019 appears to be very large ceramic vase. One... 0.8 meters in diameter at the mouth and 2.4 meters high. Style and decoration indicate it to be created in classical Greece, although conclusive dating is impossible as the surface is entirely unbreakable by any known means. If a successful method is discovered, SCP-019 is to be destroyed with prejudice. Periodically, entities emerge from SCP-019. Collectively, these are known as SCP-019-2 and look at him. Look at so him. Cute. He's so cute, he does speed. The entities vary in many aspects, but tend to be small, vaguely humanoid, although they have some animaloid features, and extremely hostile. They often choose to attack with teeth or claws. Although fairly delicate and surprisingly flammable, they are reasonably strong and pose a considerable threat in large numbers. When kept at 0 degrees Celsius and totally at rest, entities will emerge from SCP-019 at a rate of approximately one entity per hour. The following traits are known to affect SCP-019-2's manifestation rate. Movement of SCP-019. Threats to SCP-019. Extreme temperature highs and lows. Sudden shift in surrounding environment. Introduction of objects or organisms to the inside of SCP-019 known to cause a flood reaction. Traits may or may not influence SCP-0192's manifestation rate. Presence of human life near SCP-019. Current weather patterns. Specific individuals near SCP-019, some individuals seem to affect SCP-019-2's emergence rate more drastically than others. In addition, Tipping or tilting SCP-019 will create a reaction as though it was previously filled with SCP-0192 specimens, although viewers looking into SCP-019 from above will merely observe a dark hole. Due to production rates of SCP-0192 when the object is disturbed, measurement of the internal cavity is difficult, but is suspected to be inconsistent with outside measurements. Addendum. Document SCP-0192-A. SCP-019-2 notes, as maintained by Dr. Light and Dr. Vaughn. Date redacted. SCP-019-2 specimen was removed from the containment chamber and kept in a reinforced pen, provided with water and live chicken as food. Specimen made quiet, continuous, garbled vocalizations determined to be phonetically similar to ancient Helic languages. Although the reason for this is unknown, specimens are still thought to be no more intelligent than animals. Specimens live for less than 48 hours, and the dissection revealed anatomy consistent on a cellular level with normal biology, but with an extremely unstable musculoskeletal structure. Other notable anomalies included an unstable respiratory system, a nearly non-existent digestive tract, and virtually no other internal organs. All other captured specimens have followed similar patterns of behavior and demise. Note, it appears that SCP-019-2 specimens were not intended to live for meaningful amounts of time outside of SCP-019. Dr. Bo. Date redacted. Containment unit was slightly damaged following pro prolonged exposure to SCP-019-2 specimens. Missed by the monitoring team because, the partially because of the partial transparency. This has not been a note this has not been noted on SCP-019-2 before. Monitoring teams will continue to report further anomalies. Date redacted. 
Monitoring teams report some specimens of SCP-019-2 now appear to be significantly more resistant to incineration than others. It is hypothesized that this is a defense mechanism on part of SCP-019. Date redacted. Most specimens of SCP-019-2 are now all but entirely resistant to the effect of the incinerator. Replacements of incinerator with an acid bath is being considered. Evolution of SCP-019-2 is being studied and may be evidence of sentience zero one. Thank you for listening to this episode of Redacted. Next time, very fast doggos. Speed.